Welcome everyone. Hey everyone. Welcome to Happy Life Results Book Group. Reading with the author Stacy McPherson. And we're doing a section today called Hedonistic Treadmill question mark. And it's in con guide concept number three, the game, which I sometimes call the joystick. So we're talking about um, owning the joystick and that's the beginning of the section. So I'll just review it just a tiny bit. So letting like viewing the locus of control for your emotional state as something you have control over instead of giving up the control to events and circumstances and people in your life. The control for your internal emotional state for the way you feel inside is your choice. It's kind of like taking responsibility for how you feel or not blaming or making excuses that of something outside yourself. That's another way to, another way to translate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's really helpful. Okay, so then talking about the hedonistic treadmill, if, if, if people are still under the impression that, the life, that their life circumstances are the thing that makes them happy or unhappy, and we're saying, feel good. Yeah, <laughs> feel, feel good the, to get your results. Yes, and you might be thinking, well, in order for me to feel good, then I need all of this stuff, right? <laughs> I need spa treatments, I need travel, I need, uh -huh. I need people to do what I say immediately. I, I Gourmet need, food, yes. I need my ice cream every day. <laughs> I need to just be able to stay in bed all day if well, I want to. Binge all day on Netflix, <laughs> whatever it takes. Yeah, if, yeah. <laughs> because if you think you need to change what's out there to feel good in here, then you might think that we're saying go for ease and pleasure, which some people call the hedonistic treadmill. Mm -hmm. And they call it that because it's out there. People know that you, whatever level you move up in your stuff, the things that you think are going to make you happy, you upgrade, you get that nice fancy house. A year later, it doesn't feel like the nice fancy house. It just feels like normal. That's a normal house now. Yeah. And the nice fancy car and the nicer yeah. neighborhood. It, it, it used to think, it used to seem like, oh, if I could just live there yes. and have that and, you know, get to have all that stuff then I would be happy and then when you get it and it, you get used to it, it becomes the new normal and you feel like you need a, <laughs> the next bigger house, mm -hmm. <laughs> the fancy yep. trip, whatever. And that's, that only happens if you're expecting some kind of thrill from the stuff, some kind of boost from the stuff to make you feel better. If you're looking to the things to make you happy, yeah. then it can happen. Yeah. That doesn't happen if you're doing the inside out approach where you are appreciating and enjoying everything around you wherever you are. Then you move to a nice house, you enjoy it just as much as you would the other house, but it doesn't wear off because you're enjoying. You're good at enjoying. That's a difference. The yeah. skill is enjoying. Yes. <laughs> so it's, it's like you're saying, it's not the hedonistic treadmill in two ways then. So one is that we're not expecting you to chase after the stuff like the hedonistic treadmill to try to get the happiness. But then also that you're not, it's not a hedonistic treadmill because there's no treadmill. Yeah, totally. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's cool. It is cool. So, and the, and the, the thing in the book is very short and concise. Mm -hmm. And so we wanted to kind of explain yeah. and say what, you know, if you already were thinking, oh, that's like the hedonistic treadmill, then this would be really simple. But if you weren't already thinking that, then it's maybe helpful for us to kind of describe it for you and unpack it a little bit. So that's what we did today. Yeah. And if you, uh, just a reminder that put these into your own words, your own images, your yes. own recordings, whatever. Yes, if you have another phrase besides hedonistic treadmill that that resonates with you, then use that word, come up with, or make up your own, mm -hmm. you know, like describe the concept in your own way. All right, see you guys tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.